dear students i hope you all are doing well as per your request today i am here with the sixth topic of chapter 1 our sixth topic is all about nationalism and imperialism i hope you are clear with the idea of nationalism isn't it because we have discussed this in our previous part of this chapter we all know that in europe on the basis of nationalism there was revolution in many parts people were trying to form nation state because they want some kind of liberty freedom but during the last decade of the 19th century this things change yes you heard right this idea of nationalism during the last quarter of 19th century turned into imperialism now a question is arising in your mind isn't it what does the word imperialism means so i am here to answer your this query don't worry because imperialism means simply capturing other territories under your control when one country try to capture territories of other countries that is imperialism and that too by force you can say like that you can see the picture i have shown on your screen see all of them are trying to capture china okay so this is imperialism so in order to extend their territories when one country try to capture other country is known as imperialism so that they can gain some kind of profit now i know another question is arising in your mind what does imperialism and colonialism mean is they have any kind of difference or they are same so this is also simple as i have said that imperialism is just like a policy of a country in which a particular country try to influence other country to expand their territory through military force as well as through other means of power so that they can gain some kind of profit on the other hand the word colonialism is defined as a practice in which a power sets up colonies or settlements elsewhere for political and economic benefit okay so simply you can say like that imperialism is done by force okay with the help of military force they try to expand their territories and they try to capture other countries area but colonialism is all about a practice in which a particular country set up their colonies or settlements somewhere else now let's come again to our topic that is nationalism and imperialism as i said that during the last quarter of the 19th century nationalism turned into imperialism major european powers started manipulating nationalist feelings so that they can achieve their aim and what was their aim their aim was imperialism now there is actually one area where the european powers wanted to establish their power by hook or by crook and that area was balkan so the most serious source of nationalist tension in europe after 1871 was the area called the balkans in that particular area so many 
European force, you know, they try to capture this Balkan region. But before going towards that point, you have to know what is this Balkan region is all about. So, if you look nicely in this map, you can see the areas like Croatia, Greece, Albania, Bulgaria, Romania and so on. Now, if we talk about Balkan, it was that reason which comes under Ottoman Empire and where there is ethnic diversity. There was geographical division as well as ethnic diversity because as I have shown in the map there were many areas which comes under the Balkan region like Albania, Greece, Macedonia, Croatia, Bulgaria and so on. This all together formed the Balkan region and this Balkan region was under the control of Ottoman Empire, remember student, MCQ question might come, okay, that uh, during uh, the 19th century, okay, this Balkan region was under control of which empire? So, you have to write Ottoman Empire, okay. Now, Ottoman Empire was the empire which also controlled Greece because you can see very well in map that Greece was also part of this Balkan reason only because Ottoman Empire controlled that area and about Greece I have explained you all uh, in the third topic I hope you remember uh, the Greek uh, war of independence isn't it how uh, they got their freedom how uh, they have gained independent independence sorry from Ottoman Empire, isn't it? So, now we will focus on this Balkan reason. As I have said that ethnic diversity was there, geographical division was there, many reasons, many areas were there, but it falls under the control of Ottoman Empire and as a whole it is known as Balkan reason. Now, the inhabitants or the people who used to live in this particular region, okay, in the Balkan region, were known as Slavs. So, Slavs were the inhabitants of Balkan region, you can say like that. Now, there is another map you can see, okay. In this map, I have tried to show you all that uh, how can different different uh, areas okay come under the uh, Balkan region and Ottoman Empire used to uh, control all of these areas okay and that together known as Balkan region and in this Balkan region the people who were living were known as Slavs okay the inhabitants of this region were known as Slavs so with the passage of time, spread of romanticism was there in this particular reason, that is Balkan reason. Now romanticism, I hope you are aware of this word. Romanticism means uh, when uh, you use uh, poems, music, painting to inculcate the feeling of nationalism. In the minds of the people, isn't it? So, the spread of the ideas of romantic nationalism in the Balkans together with the disintegration of the Ottoman Empire made this reason very explosive. That means people, okay, with the passage of time, in the minds of the people, the idea of nationalism uh, with the help of romanticism spread and in Balkan reason people started saying that they want freedom from the Ottoman Empire. The reason behind it is very simple. 
earlier this people the people of the balkan region were actually independent and ottoman empire uh, had a uh, captured this balkan region and put it under its control so now with this spread of romanticism people now they want independence they want freedom again okay and it was their main motive they also try to uh, that means the ottoman empire after that what they do okay so all through the 19th century the ottoman empire also try uh, to strengthen itself through modernization through ad, uh, internal reforms okay by adopting modern technique and internal reforms but they were not successful at all as a result what happened one by one this uh, areas of the balkan region they gets freedom they form their own nation state you can say like that so now this reasons uh, or this areas you can say uh, were independent they were not under the ottoman empire the balkan people based their claims for independence or political rights on nationality and use history to prove that they had once been independent as i have said this and they were subjugated by foreign powers hence they want freedom again and they want to win back their lost independence and they form their nation state in this reason now with the formation of nation state the balkan states were jealous of each other and each hoped to gain more territory at the expense of the others so the idea of imperialism is spreading all over the balkan region you can say like that this independent nation state okay they want to expand their territories and they want to capture uh, one another's territory okay that was their motive so there were internal conflict in that territory as a result we have seen that there were intense conflict in this area and which grab the attention of european superpowers yes you heard right when there were internal conflict the european powers they thought that it was the right time to capture this area so the european powers like russia germany england austria hungary they were very much interested to control this balkan region they want this balkan region under their domain so as a result what happened now russia germany england austria hungary all of them were fighting for this balkan region because all of them went uh, for uh, you can say small small battles there were small small conflict between them because all of them want this particular reason that is balkan region as a result this led to a series of wars in the region and finally the first world war came so we can also say that one of the reason of the first world war was to capture the balkan area okay the aim was to conquer the balkan region when first world war started it resulted into destruction disaster for the whole war this first world war started in 1914 and it continued till 1918 as a result there were lots of destruction many people lost their lives property isn't it it affected the whole world world's economy people has to be lots of hardship as well when world war 1 started 
there were many countries in the world which had been colonized by the european powers in the 19th century now in those countries we have seen that they had opposed imperial domination now they doesn't want to be under this european powers they want freedom as well we can here take the example of india india was under britain during the first world war and india too want freedom they also want to be free from britain isn't it so in this colonies okay the colonies which were under the european powers like india there were anti imperial movement that means they doesn't want to be part of european power any more they want independent they want to form their own independent nation state okay so a sense of collective national unity built up in the colonized territories okay so from here we can understand that people came together and started opposing to those power who had established control over them through this process we came to know that the idea of nationalism was universally accepted the idea of nationalism which first started it in europe because the people of europe want to be free from monarchical form of government they wanted freedom from monarchy then as a result nation state formed in europe then idea of imperialism spread there were colonies under european powers now during the world war we have seen that this colonies in this colonies there were idea of nationalism which was spreading and as a result we came to know that nationalism was universally accepted so that is all about this particular topic now i hope you were clear with nationalism and imperialism this is basically about the story of balkan isn't it how balkan region was under ottoman empire and there were ethnic variation geographical division despite of that fact also they were under the ottoman empire but with the passage of time we have seen a kind of change in the balkan region the areas wanted freedom they want to form their own nation state and they fought against the ottoman empire and ottoman empire they were not able to control this whole chaotic situation as a result the ottoman empire lost the territories and the balkan region which has many areas the areas form their own nation state or their own independent state after that jealousy came okay they were jealous uh they want to expand their territory so idea of imperialism spread all over the balkan region with that we have seen that some european super powers like uh russia germany england austria hungary they also were very much interested in this balkan region the internal conflict okay in the balkan region grabbed the attention of the european powers you can say like that as well like russia germany england austria hungary now they were very much interested in this balkan region and after that there were certain uh, conflicts series of wars for this reason for this balkan reason among germany russia england austria hungary and finally the first world war emerge when the first world war started in 1914 it continued till 1918 and there were lots of destruction it led europe to disaster you can say like that as well and when this world war 1 started the 
countries in the world where many countries sorry in the world were colonized by the european powers and in those colonies anti imperial movements started now they doesn't want to be under the european power they want freedom they want to form their own independent nation state so what we have came uh, we have known through this process we came to know that the idea of nationalism which first started in europe now it was universally accepted now these colonies they also want freedom they doesn't want to be the part of european power any more so thank you all bye bye enjoy your vacation your autumn break and all the best for your exam